Good morning. Morning everyone. Welcome back to the Finca. Yes. We are still in the midst of our heat wave, um, so work on the courtyard is no go. Um, it's due to end this weekend, so Hopefully. we're hoping we can get back on that next week because um, we want to be able to use it for the summer. Yeah, so when we say end, um, it's still very, very hot all the way through the summer, but not it's like an oven when you walk yeah. out there. It's like 40 degrees, see about 100, Red hot uh, well wind. over 100 Fahrenheit. Oh, it's horrible. Anyway. So, yeah, so <laughs> we're in the, the old corral. Um, for those of you who've seen the the early videos um, you'll know where we're at with this for those that you haven't um, we'll give you a quick recap but well, basically this is this was the old room where they used to keep the, feed the animals and um, in fact we'll put you a little slideshow up shall we yes of what, of what it um, used to look like we'll try because we're not that good at taking pictures <laughs> but of what we've done to it and uh, explain it to you as well so yeah let's crack on eh yeah you regular viewers you're sick of seeing this I'm sure but this is the downstairs loo that uh, we've created from scratch um, and I'm currently uh, in the process of pointing it and then it's all got to be oiled um, Andy's put the accessories in that was in the last video so that's good um, we're getting there slowly so the loo is a job that we've done it's not finished but it's nearly there um, what have we got left to do in here well lots <laughs> um, these are the original animal troughs you, you again people that have seen us before will be familiar with these we're keeping these we want to keep as many of the original features as possible and um, we've even kept the old rings where the animals were tethered um, but this has all got to be cleaned up and he's going to put some lovely doors on so that I can keep this as storage the walls got to be painted the beams have got to be cleaned and uh, oiled um, the wall behind me has all got to be raked out and then that will need pointing um, we've got loads to do but it's not like we haven't done anything in here because we've done hours and hours of work um, we've raked out all this stonework, this is all ready for pointing. We knocked, off, knocked through there and put this window in. We replaced that window, which was just a shutter, with a window on a shutter. There's no shutter on this one because it never gets the sun, maybe for half an hour in the morning. This gets the sun all afternoon, or the bulk of it. So we put the shutter on to keep it out. Um, this, we're keeping this um, unit, shall we call it. Yes, we're keeping this because it, it kind of, it was sort of temporary. The sink's definitely temporary, but this was temporary semi-permanent. So we put big chunky legs on it and um, we're going to leave it. I'm probably going to face off the front, decide what we're going to do with the top because we can't put a standard work top on it because it's too wide, too deep. Um, but um, we've got a lot of stuff all over the floor here that we've moved out of the way and we're, I'm going to build a shelf in here so we can get that stuff off the floor and out of our way to make it easy for us to work. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. And another thing I'm hoping to get done, if you remember the fridge used to be here and we pulled it out so we could put some self leveling down on the floor there so it's got a nice base for it to put it back. Then we had a brain where we thought we might have liked it here where it was um, but we've changed our, our minds so we preferred the space. So. Hopefully in this bit I'm going to get this floor self leveled and then we can get the fridge put back in there. Um, is there anything else? Oh yes. <laughs> Another thing that we've done, um, we've put in these French doors. This was an old solid barn door um, with no window or anything in it. And of course, as Andy said, um, 
we only had one tiny window with a shutter and no glass it was so dark in here so we decided to take that old door off and put these French doors in which has given us so much more light in here and um, again previous videos you've seen Andy painstakingly stoning all this up and pointing it and then we made this beautiful stone floor and um, which still needs pointing I'll be pointing for the rest of my life um, but yeah it's going to look fabulous We've actually had comments in the past that I was never finishing a job. Um, basically, yeah, we do change from job to job. Number one, variety is the spice of life. Number two, sometimes weather um, dictates, like the patio, we've had to stop because it's too hot. Um, sometimes we prioritise other jobs over others for our own comfort. Um, also, I mean, Shannon's been getting on with that point and it's taking forever. But she's a very busy lady, she looks after all the animals, all the house, all the domestic stuff and me well, and us as well with all the shopping and the cleaning and everything like that. So her time is very limited um, in what she can do, you know, and obviously we, we don't want to kill ourselves doing this. We're supposed to be here to enjoy and be happy and enjoy our beautiful house, which is exactly what we're going to do. So anyway, back to my cupboard, I've cleared the stuff out of the way. I need to put a leg in there, a leg at the back and a leg in down this side here. I'm going to put doors, we actually, there's a step here because this was the original um, floor and which is staying, it's like a cobblestone floor, um, but this was originally raised up. So we actually built this up and put these massive stones in, um, yeah to kind of make it more usable as it were. Um, you've, you've probably seen from the pictures what it used to be like and what we did. Um, so this is going to have doors on it, nice pair of doors on here and a probably a door on this side as well so you can access it from both sides. Um, I'm not putting a side in it, may put a back in it because the plumbing and everything for the washing machine is there and if there's no door on it, it's, if there's no side on it, it's dead easy to get into access all that as well. Um, so um, I've been scratching about I found some beautiful old original timbers which I think will work for the, to make me legs with. Right, so this is what I found. It's the last of the original timbers. Remember I built them, if you saw the video, I think it was number two in the courtyard where I built the gate. This is what I built it from. This is just a piece that's left over. It was what covered the old wine thing. So it's at least 150 years old beautiful piece of wood, it will be when I finish with it. What I'm going to do, because the corner legs are square, um, they need to be square because they go around corners, but these don't because they're going to be up to the washing machine on one side and then it's going to have a door hanging off it on the other side, if that makes sense, you're not going to be able to see the full corner of it. So I'm going to rip this down to the same width as those corner beams and um, which is 90 mil, I think, and then clean it all up, sand it down, and then so I've got two posts out of this. I've got another piece there that will go in the back. It's not quite as nice, but you're not going to see it anyway. So that's the first thing to do: get this ripped, ripped down to two lots of 90s. There we go, look how beautiful that is inside, you can see that on there, still smells as well, incredible. Um, I think next I'm going to cut them to length and then sand them, get them sanded down. I'm going to cut them first because there's less sanding for me to do. Right, I'm running before I'm walking again, if you're wondering what we're doing. Um, Sharon's got a mix here, but we, there's a couple of biggish holes at the back that we're filling in to keep snakes and lizards and things out um, but it is very dusty I'm going to box this soil pipe in at some point so I'm going to put um, a little leg same as this one if you can see that there is one at the back here honestly over that side and just put a, a back on it I've got some thin plywood that I bought for backing cupboards basically so I'm just going to put a piece of that on that'll be first and then when this is boxed and my shelves in, it's going to stop any of this lot um, 
dirt, dust off the wall and it is very dusty but we're not going to point it because it's behind the cupboard. So um, that's the first thing to do. And the plot thickens again. <laughs> it's a while since we've worked on this. The main cable for the sockets for the fridge and the washing machine runs down here. Um, we thought while we're at it we'll put a socket on the end of this unit. The door's going to be start here but there's going to be a, a space big enough to put a socket on there so I want to get the wire, get the cable in and um, run it up behind the back of the cupboard so it'll just pop into my socket um, if that makes sense so yes that's the first thing to do right so thinking about it even more I can easily get into this after to put a junction box in it so I'm just going to run a wire behind the back so back to plan A, getting the back on, getting that leg cut, get the back on just make, just put the wire in place, I can connect it later. Uh, fantastic! Right, so there it is. Um, held in place by, would you believe it, expanded foam. Perfect, only the back of a cupboard. Um, I need to let that go off a little bit now, but in the meantime I can go and cut me, cut me back. Not only is this the smallest room in the house, I'm now in the smallest area of the smallest room in the house. It is so awkward. I'm just working on this bottom corner here. Um, I'm trying to fit me between a space like that with my stones and my booking. It's not easy. But we're getting there. If we're getting there, it's looking good. So I'll crack on. So here's my big sheet of ply, um, I've just marked it, I'm just going to cut it with the jigsaw. But I think first I'm going to put this other piece in the bottom because there's nothing to support it on the bottom and I don't want it flapping about. So if we stick this in, um, we can pin that to that. So I'm going to pop this in, come back and cut this. Right, okay, so there it is. Um, just gonna see if it fits. That fits a treat. Um, I just need to wait for my foam to go off now, um, and I'm just gonna nail it on with the with the air nailer. So I'll get all that ready while I'm waiting. It doesn't take long for the foam to go. Right, my foam's gone off enough now. Um, I put my cable through. You can see it there. Um, it comes out of the bottom, so that runs nicer behind here. I just need to get this positioned in a nice position and um, get some nails in it, get it fixed. Uh. Excellent, carry on. Right, so I think I've figured it out. The back's in. Um, these are my legs, I've just cut them. Um, don't worry, they're not staying like that. They're uh, just balanced in place. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bar across that way and a bar down that way and make the drawer um, so I can slide it out. So if I do need to get to the back of the washing machine, it's a lot easier to open a door, slide the drawer out and um, get in there rather than try and move the washing machine. Um, because there's loads of room at the back there because I say it's deeper than a normal um, worktop. Uh, it, took me, it took me a while to figure it out with the best way to do it. Um, obviously if I put a fixed shelf in I'm going to be restricted in my access to the back. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. What, to support, I'm, I'm going to make the shelf out of a piece of OSB um, so to support the, the front and the back um, because it's not going to have anything there I'm going to put a lip on it which will also help to stop things falling off it as well so I think the first thing I need to do now is get these sanded up so they look like new wood or as new as we can get them anyway so Sharon's back with yes another mix and um, there's just a little corner to do then that wall's completed and just the back wall to do then um, it's never ending, but uh, it's looking it's looking absolutely fantastic actually. Oh dear. One day. Meanwhile, back in the workshop, um, I'm just going to sand these down. Got my sander ready. Um, 
Yes. I'm just going to clamp them to the to the bench, stop them moving about, make them a bit easier to get on with. Can't have too many clamps, you know. Remember that. Right. Excellent. Get them plugged in. Get on with it. Hey, look at that. See it? Um, it's got like a brand new piece of wood. 150 years old. 150 years that's been in service, and now it looks like brand new. Right, I'll carry on and get the other two done. Well, it's a bit of a milestone. It's not been long coming, has it? This wall is finished. Just need to let it dry out now, and then it's all got to be brushed off. Um, so I'm on to this one now. Got my sheet over the loo. Don't know whether you can see that, so that we uh, don't get mortar all over the place. Because I am a messy worker. And I shall crack on with the other wall now. Right, so the front one's fixed in. I've just clamped this one. I'm going to get this one fixed in now. Not easy working around clamps though. But we'll do it. Excellent. One more in there. It's all been vacuumed and I'm off. Um, yesterday I was in a little corner, crouching, kneeling, sitting, trying to do the floor. And this morning I'm now on a pair of step ladders having to lean over the toilet. It's not easy this business, you know, but I'll crack on. Right, so I've got three of my legs fixed in. This one's a bit more problematic. But what I've done, I've wedged it, and measured it that way, top, bottom, measured it this way, top, bottom, it's level, it's plumb, in the corner. Um, I'm going to draw a line around it now, and then I'm going to drill two little holes up through the top, so I can see where my screws need to be, and then I position that back with the line, and it should be in the right place. Um, as I said, we've got a couple of open joints here, because this is twisted, it was only temporary, um, but I'm going to face this off and we're going to put a, a nice top on it that said we don't know what yet but so it makes it easy, easier to do it that way um, show, I find my pen, I draw a line, get the holes up, get this one fixed in place right so we're still using scrap this is the bit that I cut off these um, when I made them the same width as these I'm going to use this as, a, as the rail I think um, yeah if it's, it should be long enough We've got a bit to play with, um, so I'm going to go and sand it down. Um, I'm just going to literally just probably glue and nail that to here, um, and leaving this 10 mil back so my door will close because that's how thick my door is going to be. Um, yeah, perfect. We don't know which way the door's going yet. We've not decided, um, but that's the next thing I think. One step at a time. Right. So the cup. I'm going to stick one on here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some glue on it where we want it and then put one nail in it and then I'll just adjust it up and down because it's hard to clamp them when they've got glue on them because um, it makes them all really slippy. <laughs> we'll try. Plenty of glue. Stick it up there. I'll say that might work. That might work. I think it will set the level on him. Okay, the level. Perfect. Fire nail straight in here. <laughs> it's not easy working in cupboards. Excellent. I'll get one in here before I take the clamp off. God, everything's moving. 
nothing's fixed yet. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave that to dry, I think. Um, yeah, I'll leave that to dry and then fire another nail in it after. Leave the clamp on it for a little bit and get the other side done as well. Right, so for the other side, same again. Ugh. It's not easy at all. I'm going to sort of stick him on. But, oh, can you pass it at a big level? Oh, see, I've got it. I've got it. I'm going to just drop the level across it this way. Get him somewhere near before I let the glue touch. There we go. <laughs> and then again, clamp him. One handed clamps are fantastic, by the way. <laughs> Says as it moves. Come on, come on. That's it. I'll leave him there. Now this backside. Get him in position. Wonderful. Probably take him off now. Excellent. Right, so this is what we're going to cut our shelf out of. Just a piece of OSB. We've marked it out the size that we want. Um, I'm just going to clamp it up, clamp a straight edge on it for the circular saw, which is here. Oh. You've got to allow for the thickness of that, for the blade. It's all wrapped up in wire. So if you measure from the edge of that to the blade, depending on which way you're cutting, that's where you want to put your guide. Um, so, I've got it set up and we'll get it cut. So, if that didn't make any sense at all, this is the line I want to cut. There's my cut mark on my saw. So this is now clamped you can't have too many clamps remember um, so I can just run the saw along this sturdy make a dead straight hopefully perfect cut um, so let's give it a whirl Teamwork. Um, right, cool. We'll just cut it the other way now. Same principle. Take the clamps off, um, spin it around, clamp it back up again, and repeat the process. And I haven't mentioned this before, but today's top thinker tip whatever you're cutting with a circular saw, make sure that underneath is facing up. Because as the blade cuts, as you can see, it does rip this bottom edge, um, especially if you're cutting worktops and things like that, you don't want to cut it with your finished surface on the top because you'll end up with loads of chips in it. So there you go. So anyway, there it is, cut. That's our little shelf. Um, I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to run, lightly sand these edges off um, so we don't get any splinters or anything. And then we need to make some bracing. This is going to be the width the ways, or the nice part's going to be at the front. And um, we need to put some stiffeners on it to stop it flexing, which it will in time when Sharon's loaded it up with um, all the stuff we've got. Nothing fancy, just a bit of sandpaper. We like rustic, and we don't like splinters. Cool, I'll just work my way around it and then. Um, then we'll look at the next phase. Right, so there it is. It's 
see we have a problem already. It goes, it fits beautifully, um, but it's far from done. As you can probably tell, we're not keen on modern kitchens, um, and they certainly don't fit in buildings shaped like this. So we prefer to make our own rustic type things. Um, what, I'm, what we need to do now is put two boards under, we need to put a strip all the way around, to give it some rigidity to stop it from bending, say when Sharon's loaded it up with two tons of, of stuff. Um, then I um, put two strips underneath to guide it on it on the between the rails so it doesn't go skew whiff. It's just like a draw pack really. And then underneath again put a, uh, a piece across the back so when it comes out X far it won't tip. That'll go underneath the, the rail there. Um, and we're even going to put a little rope handle on it in the front there so you can pull it out easily. When it's got doors on I think it'll look great to be honest. Um, yes and it fits because the only way you can get things to fit these buildings is to make them yourself. Um, I've just had a message from Chris uh, Tales from the Cave side. If you saw the, was it the last video? We made a variety of um, dog baths to keep them all cool uh, in the heat and um, he just sent me a clip over um, and they seem to be very happily enjoying that. Loki certainly is and um, we're not sure about Dover um, whether Loki's not letting him get in or whether um, he doesn't know what to do with it so there you go. Right so after sleeping on it the designs changed yet again the thing, thing to do they morph into better things. What I'm going to do first off I'm just going to draw a line, I've got this clamp in place exactly where I want it, I'm just going to draw a line underneath it and that's where I'm going to put my rail underneath to stop it from twisting that way as we pull it out. Then I'm going to put another one of these each side on top and that will make me draw slider and it will also double to help it stop it tipping when it comes out. Um, I'm going to put a back on it when those are in which I can then use to put a stop on this rail so when it pulls out it doesn't pull out too far um, but I need to think about how to design it so we can get it out if we want to um, if we need to, if that makes sense um, then I'm not going to put a front on it because um, I don't think it'll need it, it's pretty tough but if it does bow in the future I can always add something at a later date so first off let's get it um, lined and cut and get these sides cut. Right okay so I've got my bits cut. I'm just going to put this thin sliver underneath it while I fix it just to give me a bit of clearance and then literally just fold it down, put a dab of glue on it and um, nail it in place. So let's do it. We got the glue open. There we go. That's for the other side. Right, so get it down. Rubber glue. Rubber glue on there. Fold them back up. And fire a nail or two in it. the other side in the same. Fab, he's done. Right, so we'll take this to the workshop now. We can get him out. And um, we've got our lines on the back where we need to glue our, or nail and glue our strips to stop it twisting. Coming in and out. Ow. <laughs> right, cool. Um, yes, to the workshop. Okie dokie, back in the workshop with some more off cuts. Um, I've just cut two pieces here. I'm just going to literally again glue and nail them up to the lines that I drew underneath and um, they should work as my guides. So let's get them in. Excellent. It goes all slippy now. <laughs> right, I think we've got him. Mm. 
All right, that's one. <laughs> Okay, I've got the other side done. Okay, I've just tried it in place and um, where it goes in, because there's a little bit of movement, um, you don't want it that tight because of the way wood expands and contracts through different seasons. I'm just going to put a little chamfer on this corner so when it comes to the back post, it'll just guide itself in nicely. Um, then I'm going to stick a back on it. Fap. And there we are, you can see that. Just a little shape on the corner so it'll just guide it in and now the back's going to go I've already marked it where it needs to be and um, so we need to find something for that I've got more off cuts so we're just making the whole thing out of off cuts and waste wood and I think that one will do it so I'll get him cut and get him stuck in I'm right, doing that way actually fantastic right yes let's get it done right okay I'll just plant him in place I'm just going to flip him over and nail him from this side. Perfect. Excellent, I'll give that a few minutes for the glue to take. I'm going to see what we've got. Here's another hot one. A um, bit of a dilemma here because that there, if you can see, is actually a, a thin stone. Um, but when I've pointed up to the ceiling, it's kind of covered it. So it's going to look really thick there if I just continue to point here. So I'm trying to find a piece of stone about that big but thin so it's not protruding. And it's not easy. Right, the pointing is coming along. Yes, I found the piece, it. the missing piece for my jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep boring you with it. We'll show you when it's all done in the end in about four years. Yeah. Um, the shell's done. Yeah. Happy. Excellent. You like your shell? Excellent. Look at this. Look. So I can get to all the stuff at the back without having to take everything out at the front like I used to have to at the old place. Um, and when it's got doors on eventually... Yes, it's not finished yet, of course. It's going to stomach. Lots to do, yeah. Very um, happy. But we think it's supposed to cool off from tomorrow a, yeah. a little bit, a little only bit. three or four degrees, but that makes it... Makes a big difference. Yeah, manageable, because it stays cooler for longer in the mornings and gets cooler earlier in the evenings. Yeah. So we think in the next oh, one... Oh, being well... We'll be back on the courtyard. Yes, and that's pretty exciting. Very exciting. Special project we've got in mind, that's a very yeah. useful project um, that's not too heavy on the work. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Us plodding along, mm -hmm. making the best of a, uh, a heat wave. We've actually done all right, we've made some we've good done progress. All right. yeah. Yeah. And well it, done. it was needed because there's stuff all over the. We've got no storage yeah. space at all. Um, we just keep plodding along. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed it, give us a like. If you want to watch our ramblings and progress <laughs> in the future, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Little button down below. And if you click the bell and select all, YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video. Which is... Twice a week, on a Thursday and a Sunday. And as this is Sunday... We will see you next on Thursday. Thanks guys.